We're making a fundamental change to how we structure police and fire reform in Scotland. We've got to change. If we don't change, then we face the huge uh, cuts coming down the line, and that would impact on frontline services. If we don't, as the First Minister said, put bobbies before boundaries, then we'll end up, as is happening south of the border, where huge numbers of officers are disappearing from the communities that they were to serve, and indeed those officers who remain, who do serve, are facing an attack upon their terms and conditions of service. So I've been at Bridge of Allen speaking to both the Chief Constable, but indeed rank-and-file officers, and I'm here in Falkirk meeting with the Chief Fire Officer, but also with rank-and-file officers to explain to them what's happening, to assure them that their jobs will be preserved, which is what we're seeking to do, and to, as I say, answer any questions that they may have. I am absolutely behind it. I will be leading the transition uh, on behalf of ACPOS. I've been working closely with senior officials from the Scottish Government uh, and we are absolutely determined that we will do everything in our uh, power to make this work. There will be challenges but there's also opportunities. My view uh, is that, that the vast majority of the public will see no difference in their day-to-day -day policing. That policing will still be delivered by local officers working out of local police stations and working with local communities. Uh, all police officers really have in their DNA uh, the importance of community policing, that's what it's built on and uh, just now and what it requires to be built on for the future. The status quo isn't tenable. We can't do things eight times over in fire or in police. We can't justify eight chief constables, eight fire officers, eight HR departments, eight payroll departments. We've got to put all our resources into frontline services, whether in police or in fire. This will protect frontline policing and it will minimise the damage done to frontline fire services. But it also, we have to say, is about making a virtue of a necessity. This we have to do, but it's important that when we have to do it, that we do it right. The current structures we have in Scotland didn't come down in some tablet of stone from Moses. They came around in 1975. It isn't the best that can be. What we've got to do now is to get the structures that will serve Scotland, protect Scotland in the 21st century.